Thanks to beautiful sculptures, Houston is known for its diverse art scene and creative communities. Yeah, Joe Sam headed into the studio of one artist who is using technology and clay to create some larger than life pieces of art. Hi, Joe. Hey, guys, that's right. The artist is taking art to another level with sculptures that are built like towers. I headed to her studio to find out how she's capturing the spirit and essence of people, animals and characters in every sculpture. You may have seen these amazing sculptures around the city, but what you probably didn't know is that they were created by hand. The hands of Brigitte Monjon, a master sculptor, writer, and educator in the Garden Oaks area, who knew she had discovered her talent as soon as she touched her first piece of clay. The moment I hit clay, I knew I was home. And that feeling, that satisfaction, so, I knew this was my medium. Brigitte has been sculpting clay for over four decades and is self-taught. Soon after receiving her Master of Fine Arts degree, she's been sought out by high clientele like the Houston Independent School District and even some huge musical legends. Probably the one that I documented the most was B.B. King because I did him in 24 hours. And I did him at the at Allen Parkway Inn and had the sitting and then 24 hours later we are at the, his venue and listening to him sing and and amazing that you can do such a thing in 24 hours no sleep of course and a lot of blues but there's never any blues when creating these sculptures as brigitte describes the feeling as a connection of herself that she leaves behind in each piece you know it's interesting it's also about a part of my life at that time like i can look around this studio and i can say oh you know that's the sculpture that i did when i was recovering from pneumonia and that's the sculpture that i did when my father died and so there are, are these emotional life things that are attached to each of the pieces as well that i kind of work through my things while working through the art speaking of art many people have been wondering how does brigitte go about creating these larger than life sculptures with some coming in at over 10 feet tall I sculpt both traditionally with clay and digitally so I work with 3D scanning, 3D printing, CNC milling. She used this same technique to create her most recent sculptures of Eve, Alice in Wonderland, and the famous educator, Booker T. Washington. Well, the sculpture behind me was created small, and we 3D scanned that sculpture. But then we also scared, scanned a period chair that would be created around the time of Booker T. And we married those two inside the computer. Then Booker T was sent off and he is CNC milled. It's kind of like a glorified uh, drill bit. And it drill, they mill it out of uh, urethane foam, which is really easy to carve. Brigitte and her intern then carve on the foam, sculpt layers of clay on it, and begin molding in all the details, which is how dozens of her pieces are born. And according to Brigitte, she can't choose between which sculpture she loves to mold. Each of the things that I do holds so much a part of me. So I become friends with people that I are deceased, that I've never known. And, there, and there's this relationship there. So it's hard to pick just one. Now, Brigitte also plans on creating three new sculptures, one that includes Winnie the Pooh, while continuing to educate others through her literary work. I'll have a map on our website, HoustonLife.tv, that you'll be able to see all of the location where Brigitte's sculptures are, and you can decide which sculpture is your favorite. Some really, really amazing work that she's doing, and it blows you away because these really? are really, like, larger so than life. Huge. Oh my goodness. And she takes so much time to put into each piece, but each piece is different because each piece takes different amounts of time. Yeah. One she created in 24 hours, another may take a few months to create. It's fantastic. I mean, just the wrinkle in the clothing mm -hmm. or how lifelike it is, but we can expect to see that Booker T. Washington at the high school, right? Yes, at Booker T. Washington High School. So she's creating that piece for their high school, just like she did for so many colleges with the Panthers. Like she did so much work fantastic. for so many people here in Houston. What a cool story. Well, she must be one of the most most patient people yes. on the face of the earth. I met Brigitte about six years ago, and to really see a work like that come to life, I mean, I'd be the one sort of wadding it all up and starting it over. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, <laughs> not, not, not able to make it happen. Great job. Awesome. No problem. Thank you, Joe. All right, still ahead on Houston.